everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're doing things a little bit different. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I do a lot of different fitness workout reviews and I kind of take a functional approach to all of those reviews. Today, we're gonna change it up. I've been seeing so many of these at-home YouTube dance workouts pop up on my homepage and I really wanted to try some because here's the deal, I actually don't really like dance cardio. If you don't know, I actually did start into the fitness world as a dance cardio instructor. I am still one today. I started back in 2015 with a company called Broadway Bodies where I taught everything from musical theater to hip hop to 90s throwbacks. And my main focus there was musical theater content. Eventually at the beginning of 2020, I was hired at Equinox as a dance cardio group fitness instructor. But unfortunately with COVID, yeah, group fitness is still illegal in New York City, guys. So even though I do teach dance cardio and I love teaching it, I rarely find a class that I enjoy because I'm just not so much into like the jumping up and down, take three exercises and do them over and over and over because my brain gets really, really bored. I grew up dancing very seriously. I went to school for musical theater. I spent 10 years traveling the country, performing with different theaters and I, need something a little more challenging. So we're gonna go through the top three people that have been recommended to me either from others or on my YouTube homepage over the past 10 months. And we're gonna talk about which ones I like and which ones are the best for you. And just a little freebie for you, if you stick around to the very end of the video, I am going to give you a free code where you can take my dance cardio class completely free if it's your first time. But let's jump in. So I decided to start with the queen of music-based workouts, MadFit. So MadFit, AKA Maddie Lim, Limburner, I really need to learn how to pronounce people's last names. Maddie comes from a very similar background to me because she did grow up dancing. A huge goal of hers was to post quick, effective workouts for people who didn't have a lot of motivation or a lot of time. So that's why you'll see as you scroll through her YouTube page, you've got anything from three minute core blasts to 45 minute follow along workouts. Now for this video, I was specifically interested in her dance workouts. I decided on her 90s video because I was born in 1989 and I am a true 90s child at heart. So jumping into my first impressions, I loved right off the bat that she incorporated musicality and style into the choreography. A lot of times when you're taking dance cardio classes, it's just like the same four moves over and over, like four corner claps and step touches and you know, jumping side to side. And again, for me, I just prefer something a little bit more advanced and a little bit more technical and stylistically influenced if that makes sense. So it really felt like with every single song, we were actually learning a combination. Overall, I loved her song choices. I thought they were spot on, fantastic. One thing right off the bat that if you've watched any of my workout reviews before, you know that I love verbal cues. And she didn't have any. She doesn't cue you through anything, um, at least not in this specific dance workout, especially because some of these combos were a little bit tricky, a little bit more difficult, quicker transitions. I think that it would be really beneficial for people who especially are not as advanced if they have some verbal cueing, just letting them know like what's coming up in the next four counts. So on that note, who is this for? I would say this is definitely more on the advanced side. I think beginners will really like this because the moves are still fun, the music is great, but you might get a little bit discouraged because it does move quickly. It is not the typical four movements and then you just kind of repeat them no matter what the music's doing over and over and over. This is very heavily influenced by the shifts in the music which I really love, but it might be a little bit more difficult for somebody who is not as advanced. That sounded like a humble brag, but whatever. So my final takeaways. Honestly, guys, this was very similar to my classes, except I talk. You know, for my dance cardio classes, it's all style driven. It shifts with the music. Sometimes we're doing that more traditional, like easy to follow stuff, simply because I know that I have a very wide range of clients who come to my classes. I wanna make sure there's a little bit of something for everybody, but if you like Maddie's dance workouts, you're gonna like mine. So next up, we jumped into MK Fit. This is someone who I've been seeing pop up on my homepage for months now, and I finally decided to give her a try. MK Fit, aka Emily Thorne, predominantly teaches a style called hip hop, or high intensity interval training combined with hip hop dance. Now she does have a lot of other styles as well. I specifically opted for her Broadway one because I pretty much only teach Broadway dance cardio. First impressions here, her energy is 
amazing. I'm pretty much obsessed with her enthusiasm. She even calls her followers clowns, which I think is actually kind of fun because she's very silly. Her editing style is very goofy. Like if she does something weird, she does like a, like a quick cut, like a jump cut. She's really combining like relatable funny YouTuber with fitness queen. I will say, I, we like weren't with the music. Okay, so it happens. It was like, it, it kind of just seemed like she didn't really know the song when we were doing, we were doing The Greatest Showman and we were like not quite with the music. And I get it. Like there have been times when I've gone to teach a class and been like, I didn't really practice this enough. I don't know. There were like some weird moments where we just weren't really with the beat of the music. So if anything, it just kind of jumped out at me as like, oh, is this going to be more about just moving and getting a workout in rather than dancing. So that was just kind of my first impression going in. So jumping on into who is this for? I actually think this is a great one for like pretty much everybody, whether you're a beginner or advanced. I will say if you are looking to like learn and perform a dance routine, this probably isn't the best for you. Even though a lot of Emily's movements were stylized and they were really influenced by the music, like we were doing ponies, we were doing like little pump ups for Hamilton. We really only saw two movements per song and then we would only do like a minute and a half of the song. So for me, coming from someone who's like, performance background, musical theater, you like live for that final button, that applause at the end. So if you're stopping halfway through, it was kind of like, Womp, womp. Again, my opinion, and I understand that she's going for more of like a, a hit format. I totally get that, love it, respect it. Probably just not for me or somebody who really wants to like dance perform for their workout. So just my final takeaways. Again, this was definitely more in the line of like workout than dance performance. Nothing wrong with it. Not really up my alley. I don't know, for me, I'm like, I either wanna full out workout or full out dance. I don't wanna do something in between. It's not really my style and that's kind of what this felt like it was. So overall, I think Emily's like hit hop kind of format is awesome. It's definitely just not for me or somebody who really wants like to dance. And then finally, we're jumping into Kyra Pro. Okay, Kyra is someone who is like blown the F up over the last 10 months. I mean, if you even go back and look at when she posted her first video, I don't know if she's privated a bunch of stuff and she had like older stuff, but girl has not been around that long and girl has over 100,000 followers. So I decided to round out my very long dance day with a boy bands workout because... So my first impressions, Kyra's energy is amazing. So infectious, when she opens her videos, she's so inviting, she makes it sound like it's gonna be so much fun. And then when she's dancing, her smile is just infectious. Like you can't help but smile along with her. She's singing along. I just wish that she was verbally coaching us. Like I wanna hear that energy too. She was obviously just so invested. And I think that, you know, if she was verbally coaching me, I would have been even more invested than I was. The song selections here were fantastic. Like I really thought it was just gonna be what was in the title, which was like One Direction, In Sync. Like I thought we were gonna stick very current. We started with Jackson 5, we were getting a little, I think we had new kids on the block in there. I mean, we were like working our way through the generations, which I thought was just so freaking smart. Who is this for? Honestly, I'd say this is probably a similar audience to MK Fit. You know, there was like some musicality here and there. Kind of the same thing, like a lot of it felt very, we're doing a workout rather than we're dancing and performing. But I would say that Kyra teetered more toward the dancing performing in some songs. And then some songs were like very, we're just working out. Again, nothing wrong with that style. Not for me. I just prefer to dance if I think I'm dancing. And then my final takeaways. Something that was interesting was that most songs we actually didn't repeat any movements. It was like you do one thing for 20 to 30 seconds and then you do another thing for 20 to 30 seconds and then another, another. You never went back to the top. And this is something I actually want to touch on because this is part of, if I'm getting a little scientific, this is one of the reasons I do think that dance cardio is beneficial for people even though it will eventually fuck up your knees. 
Dance cardio has such an aspect of memory. A lot of people don't think about when they're working out that they're also working out their brain, but dance cardio really emphasizes that. So you're working on your memory skills and not only just up here, like your muscle memory too. How do you perform a movement quickly in a new plane of motion, stringing it with the movement before? How do I remember how to get back to the top? I mean, this is just something I talk all about exercising for like long longevity, longevity, long-term goals. Longevity. Thinking about movement and exercise for the future rather than just being like small and skinny and tiny right now. So if we can like work out our brain as much as possible while we're also working out our body, added bonus right there. So this is why I love dance cardio with my adults. This is why I teach dance cardio to my kids. So by taking a lot of the repetition out of a dance cardio routine or program, you're kind of like robbing your audience of that benefit. Again, totally my opinion. Some people are like, I get really bored. I don't like to repeat anything during a workout. So this would actually be a great thing for you. But overall, Kyra's energy is so amazing. I think if you want somebody who's going to make you smile and make you sweat, Kyra's a great option. So let me know in the comments below who you like to dance with on YouTube. If you haven't tried any of mine, I think I have uh, two or three little like quick little dance teaser things here on YouTube. And if you want to hop into my karaoke cardio class, which is my sing-along musical theater dance cardio class, you can use the code YouTube to hop in for your first time free. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos and I will see you all in the next one.